The vibrancy and prosperity of Punjab reflects its political, social and economic stability. Today over 19 million Sikhs in Punjab and across India are living with dignity. However, the mid-80s and early 90s were a dark period in the history of Punjab when Khalistani terrorists held the state to ransom. Thousands of innocent people were killed, homes and businesses destroyed and the state's development was badly affected. Peace returned to Punjab as the people strongly rejected the demand for Khalistan that was propped up by a group of self-seeking people. A few Khalistan organizations that still exist include Babar Khalsa, Dal Khalsa and International Sikh Youth Federation. This is not the only way to do this. This is not the only way to do this. This is not the only way to do this. कह लिए कि अपने कारोबार चलाने की खातर कुछ इन्हों होर शायद मैं समझना कि इस गुमराहकुन प्रचार तो इन्हों कोई सहूलत मिलती हो प्रचार करते हैं अदरवाइज हिंदुस्तान के खास तौर पर मैं पंजाब की गल करदा योजी कोई गल नहीं सिर्फ अपने जाति तौर पर इन्हों कोई मथाज ने चाहे किसी राजनीतिक पार्टी की मैं किसी का ना नहीं लिंदा या किसी को वक्ो वक्त अपन इन्होंने जथेबंद बनाई ने यह सारा कुछ अपना अपनी खातरी करते पे Dal Khalsa, a militant outfit, calls itself a political organization and runs its propaganda to mislead people in Punjab. It has no significant base but presents itself as a torchbearer for the Sikhs. Whosoever has started this uh, movement, let them first make the public clear about it. What is the motive behind it? What they want to do it? What is their futuristic plan? Why they want the people to join such type of movement? What is the necessity? It is just if they want to misguide certain section of people and people are intelligent enough these days, they don't have time to listen to such things. Notorious Khalistani terrorists including Vadhava Singh, Paramjit Singh Panjwar and Ranjit Singh Neeta have been living in Pakistan for many years. They lead a lavish life and have purchased huge tracts of land and own many properties in Pakistan. They have been exposed and Sikhs in India and across the world have completely rejected their ideology of a separate Sikh homeland. I think I don't find anybody vouching for or accepting this sort of uh, uh, movement in any forum. Only a few people, maybe their personal interest or they want to create unrest, maybe they uh, some backing from other foreign sources and for foreign uh, power, I do not know. And we, there is a need of uh, creating such an environment by holding such movement. The people of Punjab are an industrious community that is totally against terrorism of any kind. They are extremely upset by the attempts by Khalistanis to sully the state's image and its culture.